Hi everyone, my name is Esther Yu. I'm a violinist and I'm very excited to take part in Practice 30, something which I think is doing us all a lot of good during these times in isolation. This is the New York Philharmonic's 30-day practice challenge. The practice tip that I wanted to share with you today is not directly related to the instrument, but can be applied no matter what instrument you play. It's something that has helped me, especially over the last few months, and it's helped me um, stay on track, um, stick to a routine, and most importantly, helped me get a certain amount of practicing done every day. I'm going to put down my violin for a little bit and pick up my phone, which seems counterintuitive for a practice tips video, but bear with me. So if you get your smartphone, it will probably come with a very basic clock app and on it, it will often have a stopwatch function. And that is what I use these days to time myself um, during my practice sessions. Now, don't get me wrong, I am a huge believer in quality over quantity. So this is not a method that I used very much before COVID, um, back when our lives were normal. Um, this is just something that I felt was very helpful and in some ways necessary once I was not actively performing and rehearsing and spending those hours that we are so used to spending with our instruments on a daily basis. When I start my practice session, I will hit start very easy. And I do not look at this um, timer, like the time ticking. I don't look at that as I'm practicing. Um, this is not a tool to see how slow or how fast time is going by. Um, that's definitely not the purpose behind it, but I'll just turn it on and then I'll, I'll put it down or even just completely lock the phone and just practice. I'll start with my warm up, and that's generally 20 to 30 minutes. I'll start with scales and some vibrato, um, just whatever helps me feel physically good and warmed up that day. And then I will move on to, let's say, Bach. So for that, I will um, select a new lap, and then it will start timing um, the amount of time I spend for Bach. At the end of the day, what I do is I take a screenshot and it just saves whatever amount of time I've practiced that day. And again, that varies per day, um, but it's really good to see at the end of the week or so um, how much time I've actually spent with my instrument and what I've spent time working on. And so I can adjust, let's say next week's schedule according to that. So in a way that helps shape your <laughs> schedule and create some kind of routine rather than just saying, okay, I need to practice every day. I think this helps to kind of subdivide your practice sessions and also um, help you focus on certain things that you want to be working on during these times. Another thing to clarify is that whenever I put my instrument down during my practice session, whether that is to take a short break or drink water or get a new piece of music, I will stop the timer. Um, so this should be an accurate representation of how much time you actually spend playing your instrument. I hope that was helpful and interesting for you. If you try it, let me know how you get on. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy, stay indoors, keep practicing, and I hope to see you at a concert hall sometime very soon.